And then we get the four intergenocided. Basically, they have one pirate base remaining, and the time I tried landing them, they just immediately lost. Even at negative population growth, the Thraxians still can produce population on here for whatever reason. Even oh. though Ooh, these guys have hunted. Ah, uh, AFA. The AFA. All right, we'll bring out Operation Clay, triple range. Try to just clear some garbage out of here. We're screwed. It's not our fault when the AI can apparently just engage cheat mode whenever it wants. I would just really wish it would not do that, but unfortunately it seems okay. to... Can we somehow quickly backdoor them in? No. Not anymore? They have four planets. They're part of a fear empire. Until we break their grip on those planets, there's nothing we can do. Fuck. We're doomed. Not exactly. We can always pull off what we did with the uh, Burlusts before and just spam technologies until we win just by sheer dint of one of our troops that equals 500 of theirs. Hopefully. Oh, it's not hopefully. It, it, it's a strategy we're basically forced into at this point. And hopefully we can get the boring back on the planet. Nah, it's not possible, unfortunately. They'll end up dying before they can do anything. The Borns never survive! They don't because they had the mire to begin with. And then they had those, oh, what was it, triple banking crises? That just kept happening? Yes, in, nope. the, in the first one, they died immediately. Because of the burlust. Anyway, so that's going to be withdrawal. Oh, victory. Okay. All right. So that's the AFA is now heavily destroyed. Free return of prisoners. We have two forty-two Peltian prisoners. Take it. It's yours. Technology. Take all of our garbage. I hope you enjoy. Um, is there a cooperative research? Is there a cooperative research we can do that would be helpful? Uh, safety stuff. Orbital cleaning. Industrial tractor beams. Perhaps a chance of depressurization, accidents, we'll gladly take this technology. Just because the sheer number of negative... I think the accusations are gonna die now. Freaking stock market crashes everywhere on every one. With everything. Fuck. They need to cut out this happening every single... <sighs> I... I think we're doomed. I don't know what happened. I don't know how the Thraxians figured out how to access console commands. But they're causing every negative effect to have happen to everyone else. Oh no, they've got some. Multiple planets of theirs are deep in the negatives of all their RCI values. Yet they still populate. Oh no. They, it can't be reduced beneath what it currently is. Our allies are just complete morons who have no concept of what they've got. Otherwise, they could swoop right in and take Uth Ulther, the original homeworld of the Borines. They can just scoop in and take a lot of stuff. I'm gonna do. I'm going to poison the local populace until. and just do this until they're. Keep arms are on the rise. Just so you. Uh, no. And don't go over there where they are. And do it until there's no survivors? 
Do it until their birth rate is in the negative, so this place can actually be taken. You've been warned the equilibrium population actually drops during this disease because people are so grossed out by one another. Teeth worms. Disease relapse. Burlust's joint bombing run against Thoraxians. Burlust, this is Blast Experimenter, Lead Warmaker Fanbear. I figured out a way to turn emergency reserves into orbital bombs, and I've planned to run the first test against the filthy Thoraxians. Alright. 25 Burlusts, 25 Acutions will be killing 26 of both. Acutions and Burlusts love us, Thoraxians hate us even more. Ah, uh, sure, let's do it. Who cares if they hate more? Joint bombing run? It's the point. They have to the point of it. cares if they hate us any bit more. Alright, let us blow up everything! Destroy all flagships. You mean destroy all things. So we're gonna hit Operation Play. Triple range. Energy immunity. Our own ships are dead because of very strange means. Let's destroy the reserve hangar immediately. I said destroy the reserve hangar immediately. Why are... Thank you. Now it's finally dead. Uh, consume lasers. Just to try to do something here. Energy resistance, because these attacks are clearly energy attacks and should not immediately kill us. Fire at will. Okay. Alright. Switch to the gravity lance. Kill off this one. Finally. And then I'm blown up. Um, let us load the game again for the autosave at the start of combat. You know what? Uh, we are going to change our strategy to a immediately destroy this hangar before it can spawn garbage. I'm going to get in range, shortwave virus all those ships. Continue destroying this response hangar, and then get to work on destroying this flagship before it can act, with the overabundance of a lot allied ships I now have access to. I'm gonna see if we can turn out. Oh, okay, gravity lance is the best. Minigun's the worst. Does it have sh no, it doesn't have shields. Okay, I guess we keep firing at it. I'll take consume lasers. Because these la- Okay. Multi-gun shot. So these aren't actually laser shots. Those are actual solid projectiles. So I think this- thing is entirely worthless? I'd like to think it is. Anyway. So we're gonna opt clay again. We'll give them a fighting chance by minigunning down all the Thoraxian vessels. Triple range. Try to destroy these things while the first couple of shots go off, hitting absolutely everyone everything. Focus fire on the Thoraxians' response hangar so they can't produce more ships to try and stop me. What is firing from out there? Oh, triple range is over. We'll turn it on again. We'll continue firing at triple range until this response hangar is fully terminated. We'll fire back on all the randoms, destroy their communication satellites. And then just start dropping RCI values as much as we can. 
They should be running out of micro ships to keep sending my way. And thankfully, they all seem very slow. Alright, there's a... Alright, so there's... I think... No, there's two more who I want to hit. The GPS satellite and the weathering satellite. So we'll hit triple range one more time. Target you. Okay, I don't want to keep firing on the flagship, even though that's the entire reason I'm here. There's a bunch of other secondary targets that I'd very much like to hit right now. You know what? You know what? We're going to hit triple range just to kill you, because you're just getting annoying now. Alright, so that's one more flagship down. And since this GPS satellite is still in range, let's do our best to try and destroy it. Oh, it's not dead yet. Okay, I don't think I could be reasonably expected to kill it. We'll hit one more triple range. Try to move on ahead, destroying this thing. Shortwave virus. And now we go back to killing flagships. There you go. There should be no more RCI values. But now we have to actually get in close to the flagship, and that's the problem. This minigun still works. I don't have any more triple ranges. However, I can convert those into ships that are under my command. Destroy the rest of these things so they don't fire and try to kill me. Switch to gravity. Oh, my shields went to maximum. Alright, so I've got one more flagship who I cannot hit. I am so glad. Wait, these energy... Um, which laser shot that hits your ship causes your ship to gain an attack bonus does not reduce the damage caused by those laser hits. Fires automatically. Uh, what do I want to do here? You know, polarity corruption. We'll see if these guys can get themselves to kill each other. We're gonna go full speed ahead. Minigun on auto fire. I'm gonna see how close I can get to being able to. Where did the flagship go? Okay, so I can dodge just barely around their defenses. Max shields, no engines, energy blast, fire. What? Oh, okay. Spatial translocator. Well, it's still barely within range of the minigun at least, so I can definitely take my time just firing at it with the minigun until it dies. All right. Paltians lost 20 economic. That's not awful. Freighter distress call. Consequences for that. Thraxians lost a lot of their reserves. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, okay, so... Gifted from the Acutians because they are both in the same alliance and hold each other equally. Baby, the Acutians and Burlusts now love each other and are just sharing technology like madmen. Hallelujah. And by choosing to do this, their RCI values are now in massive negatives. Yay! <sighs> Guess we're just going to go back to doing technology stuff. Mess and computers. Let's... Go. Oh, I'm just learning it for the race. Never mind.
Acutions, destroying outposts. Not surprising. Oh, baby, there's a typhoon on the on their homeworld. I am glad. Okay, it's not their homeworld, but it's good enough. Might as well be, at least. Cooperative research. What should we do? How much money do I have? I have plenty of money. You wanna know what's good about money? Hiring scientists. What I'm gonna do with hiring scientists? I'm gonna hire exactly 15 of them so I could still have enough to assassinate a hive queen the exact moment that it comes up and becomes useful. Sure, take synthetic fossil fuels. Take the rehabilitation program. Yay! And then... Cooperative research on advanced subatomic warfare. <sighs> Wish I could do something else other than this. Is there anything else that provides special effects? Hardened hull armor. Ballistic sources. Range of all gravity weapons is increased by 10%. That would actually be useful. I can get it. Oh, hey. Shields recharge 5% faster. Sure. We'll take nuclear fusion. Trade the technologies for me. This is what a federation is for. These are the benefits of said federation. Is everyone at war with the Raxians? Most likely, they you kind of sent them all that war a while back, so the they their be... lusts are somehow not at war. That's heresy. That makes no sense. Above all else, send the burlesque back back to war for Christ's sake. Hey, they need to be at war. I'm compelled to respect such martial prowess. The, uh, impact you made on my competition is a nice bonus. Hey. Hey. C can you politely attack the Thraxians? Jesus, please. In response, I will help you by building tons of stuff for you. Thraxians should be in eternal. Should be eternally attacked by every single person else in the galaxy. The ugly bug creatures that should be wiped out. <sighs> the RCI values on there are so negative, it's hilarious. Now, is there something else that I can even theoretically do? Um. No. Don't need a terraforming kit. No, at this point, I have the severity of negative environmental trends. Sure, let's get the nuclear power plant. And we'll just continue crafting tons of property on your stuff so you can actually go to war efficiently. Like in the law. Okay, Acutions. You have such a negative to your economy. I don't want this to happen again. So I will assist you with your economy again in the only way I can do so. Please, get all the universities, get everything. Just fill up your trove of buildings. Do something, do anything, to not suck. I might even, at some point with all this stuff, just immediately purchase advanced gravitonics and then get the next penultimate, which will immediately spread to everyone, which is what, time dilation? No, gravity manipulation. Personal jetpacks. Sure, we'll do that research as well. 
the Roxians can still run around doing whatever they want. What? Piratical Exodus. Oh, yes, because they're doing pirates again. Yay. Woo, more pirates. <sighs> I guess we will toss in as many things as we have access to in order to fix their economy. Because a sucking economy... will and... drag the entire Federation down with it. No, it'll just get the Acutians killed because of another random... what is effectively another random event. And that's about as much fun as you could expect. Where's Pictor? You guys are still targeting the wrong world, but okay. What? Oh no, they're, they're still Did targeting the, the home world. No, they're targeting the world of the previous Epic Homeworld. And since they're targeting the Epic Homeworld, I do feel the need to point out that because they're targeting the Epic Homeworld, they're still not targeting the world that has negative 11 population growth per month. I guess we need to drag that planet down to 11 population a month. I don't want to just... I, I'm just going to continue building buildings and hoping for the best. I will turn these worlds into worlds that don't suck. Wait the three more months necessary so I can actually bring the Acutians back in Are they getting attacked by Thoraxians? Thorax... Oh no, that's just a, one of their... factories. Okay. Well, at least they're being assaulted. No one ever said that these people made good decisions when it comes to their own systems. Anyway. An AI Enhanced Research Center, and now to just dump on the local economy until it no longer sucks. So, this is also a great way to make time pass here and describe... The Roxians just lost one of their planets. That's a step in the right direction, at least. Yeah, so the Acutians just captured another world. I hope it doesn't have any moons. Or, you know, rockets and stuff. Yes. Yes, they finally captured a planet. We're one step closer to surviving. I know. We're currently fixing the Acutian economy, and when the Acutian economy is fixed, they're probably going to immediately try to take the... Tech breakthrough vaccine for LXA has finally been fixed. Blue. Alright, Acutians. Good news is that your economy is being fixed rapidly. And when your economy is fully... Oh. Fleet Construction Nanorobotics, researched by Peltians. Now all we have to do is capture the home world of the Axiom and steal their wonderful... What was it? It's not my area. The, the Ark? The Ark? It's the Ark. Alright. Well, their economy is currently being fixed. And will soon be in the positives yet again in just a few more moments. Well, we regained our homeworld back. The this is for the Evex. You know what? You know what? I think I know how to get the Boreans back in. It's just in a really dumb method. Let's do it. No, because I can't make these guys attack a specific planet. What was the dumb method? Okay. So. The Peltians... Uh, sorry, the uh, Thoraxians are incredibly good at ground combat. Most of our other Federation species are not. Upon one of the worlds being taken over, I could just immediately have the Borings come in as resistance fighters. 
Let them pop in, have them voted into the Federation, and then we have the Bahrains all over again. But do it? Because I, we have to have the Bahrains back? I need to wait. That's the biggest problem. Is that I need to wait. Uh, I, I just need to wait for these guys to actually start doing something smart. A significant medical breakthrough. Their art medical is already hilariously high. Hey, Burlust. Join the Federation. We have wonderful medical treatments. Apparently. I'm going to just hire 66 scientists. Reason for that being is we're going to immediately uh, go for advanced gravitonics. Because the. Can the, Thraxians, can the Thraxians even get off their home world at the moment? No, they're basically being bombarded into non existence. So advanced gravitonics is researched. I'm going to learn fleet construction nanorobotics from the research. Meaning. Our fleets are going to be insanely good. Hey, Cushions, out of curiosity, can we do trade deals? Oh, yes, here. Andors. Who do you like? Uh, attitude towards... Andors, Andors. The Andors like a lot of people. Not many people like the Andors a ton. I also just notice how that goes slightly off screen. That's gonna bother me. Here, Andors, you know what we're gonna do for you? Oh, wait, no. I'm going to do a lot of property developments because it's going to be very cheap for you. Negative 18 months. Sure. This is going to take negative 18 months to just make something like this. No, the actual thing for property development for you is we'll build the safety stuff. If you No, you already have the safety stuff. We'll take the hotel casino complexes. When we have enough credits, we're just going to improve your relations with the Acutians so we can just have everyone just dump technologies on you. So, um, actually, why am I trying to learn this? I don't, I don't need to learn this. We need to improve relations with other races, with the Acutians. All right, let's get these people to like each other. Even more than they already do. I would like to make a trade route, but I, wait, can I? I don't know if I can make a trade route. Let's ask, hey, Andors. Pluralists, no. Looks like I don't have enough credit. Yes, I don't have enough credit speeches. There's no reason here. Eh. Eh. That's all I can say at this point is, eh. There's not much I can do. I'm just sitting around hoping and waiting. Hoping and praying, essentially. Yes. Sure. We'll win this on a hope and a prayer. More of we'll win this eventually. Yes, because we have enough ammunition. There's another Acution joint ground invasion. On what? Okay. It's resistance fighters on Asunch, the Thraxian homeworld. Okay, even I know that that's... With their negative population growth, that's still not enough. So I'm just going to sit here mining. I'm going to sit here playing Minecraft. The Thraxians just lost one of their planets. That's a step in the right direction, at least. 
here's some news that will not shock you. The burlesques captured a planet. We're gonna win. We're almost there. Kushin's got graviton guns. We're getting our guns. Everything's going we, well, and... We got the big guns. We do, and the burlusts of all people have happened to capture a planet. This couldn't possibly go better, because no matter whoever captures the boring homeworld, I'm just going to dump borings on them immediately and hope that they can take their planet back. Um, If I can settle them... Peltians are... They're all currently just dumping themselves in the Thraxian homeworld. And the only reason they're holding out so much is that they have population growth. Like, if their population could shrink any lower, that'd be great. Could I assassinate the High Queen in their homeworld? Do it. If we can. I've got enough credit. Let's do it. Sure. we weaken them. Hive Queen has been assassinated. God! I love how she just said, like, God, what? And then just stopped talking. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of Thraxian bounty hunters, so I am going to withdraw. I can yeah. leave... I can leave this for uh, several months and not have a problem with it. The Thraxian bounty hunters. What? I can't even get what? off the ground. What? Oh, right uh, okay. The Peltians? You gotta come see this. They just captured a planet. Oh. All right. Well, Borings. Just so you. Uh, the sheer know. amount. And don't go over there where they are. The sheer amount are no longer. The sheer amount of population that rose up on the Peltian world is so mm -hmm. much that the resistance fighters will not be able to take it back now because of the amount of time wasted. So, so the Borings are now dead. The Burlusts somehow survive. Peltians exist. So we no longer have the Borings. The, the Borings cannot physically return. Unless they're like last second as soon as the Thraxian homeworld's taken we're good anyway so we just wait honestly now it's just waiting but what I could do here is well they're down to one planet they are so we can just zero percent chance of destroying a building so I'll just do tactical support for the ground invasion and double the effectiveness of the ground invasion until we win we're actually gonna win this Yeah, we just can't win it with the Borings, and that's what's annoying. Twice! Did I run out of credit? Or, oh no, we just had an overground invasion. Uh, hostile actions will undermine the local economy so they can't produce anything. Go, go, Keep speed racer! Just so you, uh, no. And don't go over there where they are. Fed progress. No one feels like leaving. Their economy is so bad right now, I'm only surprised... Okay, we're gonna make their medical awful now. Because if their medical does not become awful, they can apparently keep producing... True! I? Hold on there. I'm running some scans. Hold, please. Holy smokes, I may just be a computer, but I think I might actually be excited. This is also exciting and new. Am I developing emotions? What? Oh, right. Well, I have good news. Looks like the Federation is universal now. Solar population definitely took some hits there. Several whole plants where the people wiped out and all that. That was a sticky bit. Yeah, but you pulled it off in the end. Well, what now? I... Oh, hey, you're inputting coordinates that I... Headed out of the solar system, are we? Not much left for you here, I guess. Hey, you Hydros lived like thousands of years, right? So I guess we're going to be spending a lot of time together. Goody. The end. Thanks for playing The Last Federation. I'll see if you can do it again. Oh, Rage and fury. If we try it again... We'll do the... Eventually? We'll, we'll do... Eventually we will try it again, and we'll do the betrayal ending. I was gonna say we tried to unite the entire 
system without right having any races wiped out. Oh, it's not only possible, it's just not likely. It's still annoying. I We keep trying... So, Borings is one race we actively try to make live. Never happens. <laughs> we I, love the Borings! The Peltians! We saw ship wiped out! No, no, no. The Peltians, of all races, should be one that's wiped out every game. Yet they fly under the radar never. for so long, yet their fluffiness prevents them from dying. And boring, little dogs die. People really like kicking the dog. Who else died last Federation? Uh, Skylaxians. In the first Federation, not the, not the second one. I think it was... The Raxians... I remember. The Raxians, Burlusts. Uh, so we're not doing. I, I'm going to leave the uh, Thraxian starter ship as off limits because that ship is just awful. I prefer having a ton of operations on there just so I can just flood the field with fighters. Regardless, uh, wait. Oh, I hit recent changes to see what happens, and it just brings me to their patch notes. But I don't feel like going to the patch notes anymore. So let us. Head on off the last federation for now.